Right, we're interrupting this programme now to go to Darren Jordan in the newsroom. Gary, thank you very much indeed. Well, let me just tell you that uh, a fire has broken out at Buckingham Palace. Scotland Yard, we know, has confirmed uh, that the palace or parts of the palace uh, have been evacuated. These uh, are now live pictures, uh, or these are pictures uh, from earlier on um, of firemen on the roof, uh, the firemen and police who are at the scene. Uh, the fire brigade was called there just after seven this evening, about 20 past seven. Uh, and you can see their pictures uh, of those fire units, those fire brigades going into Buckingham Palace. It's believed the fire uh, broke out at the rear of the building facing the garden where last night's pop concert was. Well, let's go uh, live now to Nick, Nick Hyam, who is at Buckingham Palace. Nick, what more can you tell us? Uh, well, Darren, we've seen so far six uh, fire engines and also an ambulance go in through the front gate. Uh, I understand that the fire broke out in a corridor linking the ballroom of the palace with the state apartments. That's an area not looking onto the garden, but looking onto the big central courtyard of the uh, palace. The ballroom was in use last night by the television crews filming uh, the concert in the palace gardens. Two ballerinas, uh, two uh, ballet dancers from the Royal Ballet were performing in there. Um, uh, so at the moment, although we have no indication of what may have caused the fire, it's possibly connected with the very substantial ins installation of television equipment uh, which has put in for the concert yesterday and the other pop concert tomorrow. can tell you that no members of the royal family are in residence at the palace at the moment. The palace has been evacuated and so too have the gardens at the back where there were several hundred technicians and performers preparing and rehearsing for tomorrow evening's pop concert. OK, Nick Hyam, thank you very much indeed. Now, the next scheduled news on BBC One is at 11 o'clock. There'll be updates on this story throughout the night over on BBC News 24. Now back to Gary Lineker and the Match of the Day team.